Hi everyone, my name is Daniel Askwitz, and in this video I'm going to show you how you can send an approval request through a shared mailbox. A lot of people have been asking me how can I make sure that nobody sees the Microsoft Flow email address? Because a lot of people think it's strange that they get an email from Microsoft Flow when they receive an approval. So in this video, I'm going to explain you how you can send that email from a shared mailbox and you can still include the link where you can approve or reject. So without further ado, let's move to my desktop and show you how it's been done. So here we are in my flow. I already created the trigger in here and there's nothing else in here. The trigger doesn't have any inputs in here. So let's start with adding a new step and we're going to call that of course approval. And we're going to choose the create an approval action here. We're not going to use the start and wait for an approval action because that doesn't give you the chance to send it through a shared mailbox. So you really want to use that create an approval action. Okay. So let's start with the create an approval action. I of course have to select an approval type. In this case, I'm going to use the approve reject first to respond action or approval type. And I'm going to choose a title and I'm just going to call this approval title because I want to show how I'm going to send this with an email. I'm going to have to assign it to someone. And in this case, I'm just going to toggle the switch to advanced mode. And I'm going to select the user email from the manually trigger at flow trigger. I'm not going to enter any details, item links. Uh, I'm ju just going to select the show advanced options and I'm going to change the notifications to no. And that's really important because we're going to create an approval here. And if you want to send it through a shared mailbox, you don't want to have both an email from Microsoft Flow and from your own shared mailbox. So that's why we need to set that enable notifications to no. So here we are, we set the enable notifications to no. I'm not gonna use any attachments in here. I'm not gonna change the reassignment here. I'm not gonna use a requester here. Uh, you can of course do that, but for this demo, I'm not gonna do that. So let's hide the advanced options and Let's go to the next step. And the next step is going to be a send an email action. And in the send an email action, you want to, of course, select the um, approval approver email from the approvers. And when you hit this uh, dynamic content field, it will add a loop in there. Because, of course, with an approval, you can send uh, an approval to multiple people. And in this case, we use the first to respond. So whenever somebody responds to the approver or the approval, then um, that person would decide for the rest of the people if it's going to be approved or reject. Um, but of course, it can iterate over multiple people. So that's why it will change for each in there. So here we are. There you see the apply to each and for every approver, it's going to send an email and that's exactly what we want. We want to change the subject and we want to change that to the title of the approval. We want to add a text here. So let's just add hi and then use the approver name in here. We just want to say hi and in this case, Daniel Laskowitz. And approval request has been created for you. Please respond. Oh, respond. And then I'm going to add a link here, link to approval, kind regards. And I'm going to use my company's name and we created some kind of bot for this. We uh, created the shared mailbox with the name 
Automate. So I thought that was a fun name. Power Automate, Automate. Well, we're going to use that here. Um, and now I, of course, want to change the link to the approval. And I want to add a link in here. For now, I'm going to use the sample link. So HTTPS colon slash slash. And I'm going to add that. Now I'm changing to the code view. And when I change to the code view, I can change the link. And that's the a ref link. And I can just insert the respond link in there. And that makes it possible for me to send the respond link in the link to approval. And now I already sent the email to the approvers. And the next step we're one, we want to have is, of course, the uh, prover approvals, sorry, and wait for an approval. And let's select approval ID in here. And when I save this, I can, of course, start the approval and perform the trigger action. Let's save and test. I have to select continue run the flow and now i can see that the approval is going to be created it sent the email and it's waiting for an approval so let's switch to my email and see if we already have one we already have an email and it's from myself to myself and it says hi daniel laskowitz an approval request has been created for you please respond Link to, to approval, kind regards, society, automate. So here I'm going to select the link to approval. And in here, I can already respond to the approval request. I'm going to approve this one and select confirm so that my flow run doesn't keep on running for the whole time. So in here, you can see that my flow has run successfully. There have been some things that aren't to my liking. So one thing I really don't like is the fact that there is a low importance to this uh, email. And that's something that happens all the time when you create uh, and send an email action in Power Automate. It has a standard setting of importance to low. So the first thing we're going to change now is we're going to go to the apply to each. We're going to go to the send an email. We're going to go to the show advanced options. And we're going to change the importance to normal in this case. Of course, if you want, you can change it to high. And then it's always really important with, uh, with the explanation mark in there. And there's also something else that I didn't like. Because if you look at the email, it's from myself. And I don't want to send all the approval emails. So in this case, I can use in the advanced options. So you really have to click the show advanced options link here. You can find the from send as email address. And when you have uh, a shared mailbox where you have access to, you can select that and then you can send an email from there. So let's save this flow and try it again and see if I did anything right, because otherwise it would fail, of course, but let's try it out. Select run flow, select done, and wait until the email has been sent. We can wait until, yeah, here it is, until the wait for an approval has the orange icon next to it. Then we know it's waiting for an approval, so the other stuff has been done. In here, we can see that I got an email from Society Automate. It has the approval type as the uh, title as the subject. It includes my name in here. It includes the link as well. That hasn't changed, uh, but I can still approve or reject this email or this uh, approval request. And of course, the there isn't any message that uh, this message has been sent with low importance. It's just a normal email. With that, I want to end this video. Thanks for watching. And if you want to see the follow up to this video, make sure to like and subscribe so that you get a notification when the new video is ready. 
if you have an idea for a video, make sure to leave it in the comments below. And I hope to see you at the next video. Bye bye.